Now I'm going to read Ecclesiastes 4 and 13 today. It says this, better is a poor and wise child than an old and foolish king who will no more be admonished. <clears throat> Interesting verse. Better is a poor and wise child than an old and foolish king who will no more be admonished. So this verse really compares, it compares an age, a child, which usually is immature and sometimes foolish. The scripture says foolishness is bound to the heart of a child. It compares a poor child compared to a rich king. So it compares economics and then it compares the age, the child to an older person, a king. And it says it's better to be poor and wise and immature or a child than to be an old and foolish king uh, who will no more be admonished or will no longer receive advice. Now, how do we apply this scripture to our lives today as our discussion today? You know, usually we learn and become wiser through experience. There's a lot of things that we learn as we grow older, sometimes through our mistakes. And there are many that have made a lot of mistakes being younger, but they corrected their mistakes, changed their life, and began to walk in a degree of wisdom as a result of experience. Often we view older people as people of wisdom and experience because they've experienced so much. They lived through many things and they've gained a wealth of knowledge and experience. And then when we look at a king, a foolish king, we can look at the word king as a leader. Now, the reason why this is so tragic is because a foolish king, their foolishness will not only destroy themselves, but it can destroy others because they're people of authority. The more authority you carry, the more influence you have, and the more your decisions will affect other people. So here we have an old foolish king. He's old and yet he's foolish, which means it's possible to become older and still be foolish. So it's not always the case that because you're older, you're wiser. This verse tells us you can be old and foolish. That's tragic. And not only that, it's you can be a leader and be foolish, an old foolish king. So just because your leader does not mean you operate in wisdom. Imagine an old foolish king or an old foolish leader who will no more be admonished. Now, it could be that at one time he listened to advice because it says he will no more be admonished. So at one time, maybe he listened to advice or his advisors or his counselors, but now somehow he does not listen to advice anymore. You know, I found this out. As you get older, um, there's a temptation not to listen to anyone because the temptation can be, listen, I'm older now. I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, I know everything I need to know. I've experienced everything you, you're experiencing. So I know it, everything. I think the key is that even as you get older, you must keep humility. You must be willing to listen to advice. Let me say that again. As you get older, and especially if you're a leader, Please hear me, leaders, pastors, apostles, bishops. As you're older and you become a leader, you must never get to the place where you cannot listen to advice, even from younger people, because that will destroy you and that will destroy a lot of people. This old foolish king is, is not better than a poor wise child. In other words, the poor wise child, even though they're poor, they're wise, even though they're a child, they're wise, they're better than an old foolish king. What a contrast. And so sometimes we look upon youth and we despise them and say they don't know anything. They're dumb, stupid. But here's a, and sometimes we look upon poor people and say they can't tell me anything because if they had any wisdom, they wouldn't be poor. But this verse actually says that it's possible to be poor and have some wisdom. Now, I do believe that if you're poor and you have wisdom, that you can, wisdom can bring you out of poverty but it's possible. So you can't judge people necessarily by the economic status because they don't have as much as you. 
You can't even judge them by their age because sometimes they can have more wisdom and be poor at a young age than a person who's older who should have more wisdom and a person who's a leader who should have more wisdom. So you can't always judge a person's wisdom by their economic level or by their age. Because sometimes what it, it seems as if, if you're older and you're, you're, you're in age and you're a leader, you have a position or you're wealthy, that that means you have wisdom. You must be smart. You're older, you have, you have wealth and you're a leader. You must know everything. Not necessarily true. You can be an old foolish king, an old foolish leader. You know, the book of Ecclesiastes, the reason I love this book is because it really shows us that things sometimes don't go the way you think they should go. What happens when you deal with an old foolish leader who will no longer listen to anyone, listen to advice? How do you handle that? Because you say this, it shouldn't be this way. Well, there's a lot in the book of Ecclesiastes. We did a verse that says that uh, the, the preacher said he saw kings. He saw servants riding on horses and kings walking on the face of the earth. That is a turnaround. It's kings ride horses. They don't walk. But he said, I've seen servants walk riding on horses and kings walking on the earth. A complete turnaround. So sometimes in life, you look at things, you say, this is turn, this is upside down. This doesn't make sense. You're an old leader. You're an old king. And you're foolish. You, you, you don't listen to anyone. You, you, you're hurting people. You're destroying people. Now, this can refer to pastors, bishops, leaders. Be very careful that as you get older, you don't shut yourself off from any advice just because you've been in this a long time. We must always be willing to listen to advice, be willing to receive correction, be humble enough to receive correction, no matter how old you get. Never get in pride and say, no one can tell me anything. And sometimes that happens in a family with a father, a grandfather, a mother, a grandmother, someone older, and um, their leaders. It can happen in the church. It can happen in government. It can happen among presidents, among prime ministers. And it brings a lot of pain and destruction because when you're an old foolish king, they won't listen to counseling. The Bible says in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Counsel, <coughs> excuse me, counsel is one of the manifestations of wisdom. So this is an interesting verse. We're going to talk about it in Clubhouse and I'm getting to it. But I want to bring that point up to you. Read the verse, meditate on it. Because sometimes, again, in life, things don't go the way we think they should go. Things that make you scratch your head and say, hmm, this, this, isn't, this isn't normal. Here's a person that's a leader. They're a king. But they're old and foolish. They don't listen to anyone. They're making bad decisions. They're doing dumb stuff. This shouldn't be. How did they even become a leader? How did, how did they become a king? Who put them in this position? Now, we know that kings often were put in position simply because they were the son of a king. So it had nothing to do with their wisdom, simply because they were born in the palace. And that can be tragic because you can be born and grow up without any wisdom and then destroy your kingdom and destroy the people under you by bad decisions, bad wars, bad economics, just foolish decisions, bad laws, injustice, things that really are the opposite of wisdom, putting the wrong people in positions of authority, trusting the wrong people, that, that can really bring a lot of destruction. Foolish leaders put the wrong people in positions. In churches, sometimes they put the wrong people in positions of authority when people are telling them you shouldn't put that person in authority, but they don't listen. It brings a lot of hurt and pain. It can be in government, can be in church. Let's not be old and foolish. Let's listen. Listen to wise counsel, even if they're younger and even if they don't have as much as you. Wisdom is something that can come from the most unusual sources. It's better to have a poor, wise child than an old, foolish king who will no longer be admonished. Okay, that's my word for today.